today is we are so much in love but he always treats me bad and takes me for granted i am just not able to break up with him so it is we are so much in love but he always treats me badly the both seem to be in contradiction like we are in love and he treats me bad if you are so much in love here i mean if you in, in the case of true love when you love someone you don't go out of your way to hurt them when you love someone you don't draw pleasure from you know putting them down or treating them badly and when you love someone you don't need to really put them down in order to feel secure so here we are talking about treating you badly which means then there is no love at all so please love yourself enough respect yourself enough it's not good uh, it's not enough if you're good you need to be courageous now here you need to stand up for your rights which is the right to be treated well as a human now when we are treated badly it means we are allowing that to happen we are allowing someone to treat us badly so it means here he is not the only one to be blamed you are responsible for this too he takes me for granted now this often happens even when true love exists now consider parents and children so many times uh, yes our parents love us but at times they do take us for granted we love our parents but we do take them for granted so here in this case you need to just let him know you need to talk to him you need to explain to him that you're hurt and you feel that he has taken you for granted now it could be like uh, you have done something really great for him for his well being and he has not acknowledged it it could be like uh, he has not thanked you for so many little things that you have done for him maybe he has not asked you for forgiveness for so many little misdeeds that he has done and uh, this is irrelevant or independent of the fact that you have forgiven him and it could be as small as uh, things like uh, he has been late for every meet whenever you were supposed to meet him or it could be as small as he has not replied to your uh, messages it could be as small as he has not taken your calls it could be as uh, small as he has never told you like he loves you or he cares for you or it could be that he has not been around when you needed him the most so it could be anything now when it comes between parents and children uh even when you are taken for granted it does not lead to a breakup as such uh in only in very rare cases there is a breakup between parents and the son or daughter now between a husband and wife this could cause an unhappy married life or even a divorce and between a relationship between a man and woman this most uh inevitably leads to a break up but why do you put up with it why is it that you never utter a word though you feel you've been taken for granted you may feel like he comes up and says what if he says oh my god you are such a complaint box you keep complaining like this i don't wish to continue in this relationship i want to break up you fear that he may choose to break this relationship but if he really loves you this could even come as a shock to him maybe he has never realized the fact that 
he has hurt you because he has not intended to. But evidently he has hurt you and you feel that he has taken you for granted. Maybe he has never realized this. Maybe this comes as a shock to him. Maybe he even gets a glimpse of uh, the woman's world of expectations which is quite different from a man's world. So if he really loves you, then he is sure to give it a thought. Maybe he will argue with you in the beginning, but then he will slowly realize that the fact is, though he has not intended to hurt you, that is what has happened. That is, you are hurt and you feel that he has taken you for granted. So definitely, he will try to be more empathetic. Here I am saying try because it is very difficult for a man to live up to a woman's expectations. But then, uh, here if he loves you and he makes a genuine effort to try not to hurt you, then that by itself is a good thing and with time, definitely things will begin to work between the two of you. Now, take mathematics. We learn the formula, we attend the class. When we listen to the uh, session being taken, when the teacher is teaching us, we feel like we have understood it. And we feel, yes, we can solve this problem. But the actual issue begins only when we begin to try and work out this problem. So, to, in order to get through the examination, we need to practice working on problems even before we clear the exam. So, between a man and woman also, we need to learn what is right and what is wrong. And then we need to keep practicing this in real life situations. This is because we are talking about 1 billion lives in this world, 1 billion life experiences and no two life experiences are alike. So, we need to practice we need to learn to enjoy this journey through life. Now coming back to our issue. Suppose this person, this man does not love you. He may say that you are complaining, that he had never intended to and that he wishes to break up. In this case, I think the best thing for you would be to break up. You need to love yourself enough. You need to love yourself more. You need to respect yourself more and you need to break up and move on in life because life is beautiful and trust me, it is not all that bad. And it will be full of uh, little pleasant uh, surprises for you if only you make, you, you make the right choice and you think right. This man is a bad choice.